today we're going to dive pretty deep into the into the software and we're going to focus today on probably what a lot of you are are really interested in that ap transaction automation which is workflow and optical character recognition we're going to go through a payment run so you can see how workflow can be benefit can be beneficial in that aspect area of the of your business and then we're also going to go into retrieval so what you should be seeing now is my home page of dynamics gp and we're going to end up here but we're not going to start here um, paper saves workflow is outside of dynamics gp and there are a lot of ways that an individual can actually access the workflow um, they might have a pin down here or paper save has an application start page that they can access and go directly to um, and go right into their um, in, into their workflow by clicking on the hyperlink here or again as i mentioned pin down here and so you can get to the workflow in many different ways before we jump in and actually start approving documents i'm going to start capturing documents and again, we talked about different ways of capturing the documents in the last um, episode, but um, we'll, we're going to revisit some of them um, in today's webcast as well. But one of the ma main ways of getting the documents in is scanning them. Now, we use a lot of different types of scanners, scanners that are hooked up to workstations, those multifunction units. Um, and I actually have a scanner hooked up to my workstation. So, I have um, a stack of invoices that I've grabbed and I've dropped them into my scanner. And so I'm just going to scan them right now into PaperSave. And the reason I'm showing you this is not because scanning is anything special. Really what scanning, the reason I want to show you scanning today is because you're going to actually see the OCR working, the optical character recognition. And so you're gonna see down here in this tray that the OCR is processing. And what it's doing at this point is it's looking at all of these documents. It's gonna start pulling the vendor name, the street address, and the phone number. It's gonna look into your GP database, find the matching vendor, populate that vendor name here along with the vendor ID, look for the invoice number, invoice date, and dollar amount within this invoice um, now it's going to do that as it finds it it's going to start marking it complete so you can see that some of these are already complete one of the things that i do want to mention about ocr is that it is not 100 percent accurate it never will be there are a lot of reasons and variables as to why ocr might not be 100 percent accurate or might not find something but one of the things that our tool allows you to do is teach it to become smarter and smarter the more you use it based on your vendors or your suppliers invoices now the system comes with thousands of what they call definitions or artificial intelligence but in some cases there might be some unique field that they're using for invoice number this one's not a good example but i'm going to show you let's just hypothetically say it didn't find the did not find the invoice number well all i have to do is point and click and it populates it and then i can learn this document i can tell the system okay when you find industry business solutions this is the area that i want you to look for for that invoice number and so you build on that intelligence based on your invoices one of the things that i also want to mention is that i am working from the united states and so my date my date fields are are configured based on our month day year configuration but um as a professional advantage we'll tell you as you go through the evaluation of paper safe we've done a lot of um modifications and changes to our software to accommodate your needs one of them obviously is the day month year format in your date but that's what ocr is going to do as you can see is it's pulling this information and one of the things that I also want you to notice too is as it pulls it, if you utilize default criteria from your vendor cards like GL distribution or pay date or due date based on terms, as I tab off or as it finds that information, 
it's going to automatically start populating maybe the due date and the pay date um, and certainly that GL distribution. So that is OCR. And from outside of just the capturing, you're able to create and learn and code and get those items into the workflow. Now, one of the things that I do want to mention is I can also route a document from here. So if I wanted to send this right over to Quinn, I can identify that Quinn is my manager and route it over to her. So there's a lot of things from the capture area that you're able to do once you've captured the document, you can route it, you can correct it, you can code it. So if you are that accounts payable person, one of the things that I encourage is the, the fewer times you touch a document, the better, right? So if you're that person that's capturing the document, well, great, do all the work up front that you need to do, correct it, code it, route it, and send it off. And then it doesn't have to, you don't have to touch that invoice again until it's already approved and you're ready to submit it into um, Dynamics GP, all right? So that's one way of capturing the documents. Another way of capturing the documents is, is our integration into um, Dynamics, uh, excuse me, our integration into Outlook. So right along the toolbar, you can even add this document right to a workflow. So I don't have to be inside of Paper Save. I can be right in Outlook and I can add this Best Buy document into a workflow for processing. So again, drag and drop, all of these are gonna go through OCR, optical character rec recognition, and the values are going to be populated into those fields. Now, workflow. One of the things I do want to come out here and talk to you, I've captured some documents and I did some OCR, but where did those documents go? Well, workflows are, are configured based on your approval process, right? What does that look like? Who needs to approve it? Where does it go? And so PaperSave allows you to create workflows that have multiple levels of approval. They might get um, sent to a hierarchy based on a value, but these workflows are built based on your approval process. So even if you have a manual process where you're taking a piece of paper and manually routing it from person to person, that's still a process, right? That's still a workflow. And PaperSave can take that manual process and make it electronic. So my step is king or that coding or routing person, then it goes to a manager. If it's over a threshold, it goes to a director. Um, you can reject it, it might go back to the manager, but ultimately it ends up in this accounts payable step. But this is what my workflow might look like or does look like, and yours may look similar to this, but all workflows are completely customer defined. All right, so how do we get to the workflow? Well, there's a couple of ways, as I mentioned. We can click on this hyperlink here. Um, we can have it pinned here. But I think the majority of our customers probably use their email notification that will come to them and remind them that they've got documents. So that's the other advantage of an electronic process. I remember as accounts payable, I was always the one who was having to call people and hound them and say, hey, I need this invoice back, have you approved it? I was always that person. Well, with PaperSave, you can allow PaperSave to be that person, that constant reminder. An email will go out to each individual, letting them know that they've got documents sitting in their PaperSave workflow inbox. They click on one of these hyperlinks and it will automatically launch and open their set of documents waiting that are waiting for them to approve. Right, so again, a lot of different ways. I mentioned earlier, we have the mobile app, so even people on the go um, can be approving documents from their mobile app. Now, I'm not gonna click on one of these uh, hyperlinks because this actually is the last step of my workflow approval, but I'm gonna go into and click here, and the workflow is going to take me to the very first step in my process, which is the keying step. Now, remember, if I scanned paper, I would probably most likely be skipping this step because I would have already chosen the manager in which those documents needed to be routed to, and, um, and I wouldn't have to be touching them again. Whoops, 
let me go into my correct workflow here. I had my other workflow up, so let's go into this one. And we're gonna be the keyer. And we'll talk about why this filtering is so important too. All right, so here I've captured some documents and here they are, I'd like to sort by today's date. But I'm in that first step. Um, I've got 17 documents that are sitting in here waiting for something to happen, right? Now, if they went through OCR, you're gonna see that all of, this, all of these values are already entered here. But keep in mind that if this was an invoice that was brought over electronically, whether we monitored an email address, because we can do that too, if you've got an AP invoice at yourorganizationname.com, PaperSafe can be monitoring that and automatically bringing those electronic documents already um, that are already electronic over as well. But here, again, within the workflow, I have the ability to do my correcting of any of the OCR. I have my ability to route um, to my manager or set my GL distributions. Now, listen, if you don't use the GL distribution defaults from the vendor card, that's okay. Um, you're going to be able to, um, if I, I'm going to, whoops, um, I'm going to delete this here. Um, we'll delete this row here. Um, you're also able to add your account structure, or maybe it's the manager who needs to approve it. Well, that's okay, or put that in. You can do that as well. But at this point, all I need to do is find my manager, who is this gonna go to, and I can route it over to Quinn for approval. Now, you can also use your GL distribution for routing. You might not need to have a manager here. If one of your segments of your GL distribution identifies who that person is, well, great. It can be routed based on that as well. But we're gonna get a few of these over to Quinn's inbox, all right? So I'm playing that first role, that manager, or excuse me, that king or validation person, and I'm sorting and getting the documents over to those individuals. I'm fixing any OCR that might need to be fixed, right? So that's that first step of the process. You've captured it, OCR has happened, that optical character recognition, where it's filled in some information. And again, here's, here's an example where it didn't find something, right? So all I have to do is point and click. And, and the reason that it probably didn't find anything is because this doesn't say invoice number, it says order number. So again, a simple point and click. And then to learn this, all I have to do is draw a box around order. And it's gonna say, okay, the next time it finds crown metal, it's gonna look for order. And that's where it's gonna find the, the invoice number, all right? It's that simple, that's how simple it is to train and teach the system. Now, I'm gonna filter here and I'm gonna be a manager, but remember what's gonna happen, your managers are gonna get their email notifications to remind them. They certainly don't have to wait for their email no notifications. PaperSave is built on Active Directory, so when they log in, PaperSave is automatically giving them or routing the document to them um, and they will only see their documents for approval, all right? So one of the things I want you to notice, I'm now playing Quinn, these are all Quinn's documents. Quinn has 31 sitting in her inbox and the one that's highlighted is the one that's showing up in this window. You'll also see that there's another slide out box that happened. This is PaperSave's um, workflow, audit trail. Paper save date, time, and user stamps where the document bit has been at all times. So really all I have to do as the approver is hit approve. I get the next document in the stack. Now keep in mind, if I have to put in my GL distribution, I'm also gonna have the ability to do that. You can also limit what somebody has the rights to see. Um, now when I hit this lookup, it gives me the whole chart of accounts. But if I, I can narrow it down to supplies, but listen, if I'm Quinn and I'm the manager of the sales department, you can say, okay, well, sales is the 300 series of the first segment. You can limit what that individual can see right from, from the GL distribution as well. So there's a lot of parameters that PaperSafe can set up, but really what you have to remember, it's all electronic. They get notified electronically and they hit a button that says approve or reject, right? That's really all they need to do. Remember, I did say though that PaperSave's workflow 
is there to streamline um, and eliminate bottlenecks. Well, one of the bottlenecks that we find is when people are out of the office, right? So they can set their out of office, assign that um, out of office to somebody and say that they're on, va on vacation or whatever it might be. When Quinn hits update, if, if all of her documents are supposed to go to Karen, all however many's left, 14 of them, will automatically be routed to Karen. And when Karen opens it up, she'll see another dialogue box here that says forwarded on vacation. So she'll know why she got that extra work to do. All right. So I'm going to go and play the last step of the process. Because remember, the documents are captured, OCR is done on them, that optical character recognition, based on your workflow configuration, where the document goes. Ultimately, it's going to end up down here in accounts payable, that last step. And I call that that last right of refusal, right? And um, oops, I went into the other workflow here. I've got a couple of them open just for, there we go. So we're in accounts payable. Again, here's my last um, step. And in my inbox for accounts payable, I have six documents that have gone through the full approval process and are waiting to be submitted into GP. So all of the data entry has been done for me, correct? Right? I don't have to do anything. All I have to do is make sure that the right people have approved it. Maybe the coding is, needs to be updated or changed. I can do that. But as soon as I hit submit, PaperSave is going to create that transaction and it's going to give me the next one in the stack. Now, one of the things that PaperSave is doing, not only at the capture, but also at this time, the submission, is we're checking for duplicates. So if there is a duplicate transaction already in Dynamics GP, PaperSave will not create that transaction over. All right, um, it's following the same rules that you have inside of GP. Okay, so all I have to do is validate this and hit submit and it creates that transaction, eliminating all of that manual data entry that I normally have to do inside of Dynamics GP. Now, one thing that I do want to talk about, um, well, before I do that, let's go into um, a, let's go into GP and we're going to run the, a check run, okay? Because that's a work, that can be a workflow as well. So we, just to recap, we captured some documents, OCR, optical character recognition happened. We routed them. People were notified for approval. They clicked on a hyperlink or they drilled down into it from a, a, a shortcut on their desktop. They approved documents. They coded documents. Um, and then it went to accounts payable and they submitted them into GP. We're going to go ahead and retrieve those at the end, but I wanted to just recap what we did. Now, let's say we want to go ahead and um, print checks, right? Well, I already have a batch set up here, so I'm just going to go in into this batch that I already set up, but you guys know that process. Well, once you complete a batch, Paper Save gives you some options. If you want to send these checks out for approval before you print them, you can. So that's another, or maybe you print them and you want the, the a dummy document to go out with the supporting document, you can. You also can say, I want to look at the checks and the supporting documents. So paper save, this is kind of what that looks like. I can look at the check and then I can flip through my stack. So here's my advanced um, filters or my advanced office check. And um, you can see within the check, I've got a hyperlink right to the document. So if I wanted to see that supporting document, I can do that as well. And paper save is going to going to open that up and and show me that document today, hopefully. All right, here it goes, sorry about that, it took a minute. Um, and it will open that document. So I can, I've got several options from that payment area, right? For, with paper save, I can send the documents for an approval, the checks, I can look at the documents, the, the checks and the supporting documents, or I can just look at the, the checks as well. That's an, another option for you. So you can, you know, look at look at the check and then see the supporting document. But if they went in through a workflow, let's go ahead and show you what that workflow might look like. 
again, I'm going to go out here to my workflow that I already had open for my checks. All right. So I'm in my check review. Again, same type of thing. People are going to get notified. They're going to be told that there are documents. But I envision this. Think about you, the person who's currently signing the checks. Well, right now, you're probably giving them a stack of checks with a bunch of paper attached to them. Um, or maybe you're doing EFTs. Well, paper save can work this way as well. Um, but here are my stack of checks that are, are waiting to be processed. And I can look at them. Uh, I can see them. Let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, we can even hide this. We don't have to look at these profile fields over here. But I can zoom in. I can see this. Listen, if I wanted to see the supporting document to one of these line items, I can click on them, right? And I can open it up one at a time like that. Paper Save will allow me, um, allow me to do that as well. Or Paper Save also has show associated documents where it's going to open up all the documents associated to this payment um, all together. So um, this is just one at a time that I'm opening them up. But Paper Save does say, give me all associated documents. And in this case, for that check, what was there, four or five different line items, I could see them all at one time as well. Um, instead of just clicking on these hyperlinks, I can come in here and, and I can say show associated documents. And then it would open up all of these individual invoices simultaneously. But if I look at this and I want to uh, reject it, I can say reject it and have to be put put a, um, a comment on why I'm rejecting it, or I say approve and it moves on to that next step. So accounts payable knows that I've approved it. And remember, my workflow is always going to mark when I approved it or rejected it. So that's going to follow along with that document and stay with the document. So if there's any question down the road, your auditors look at it, they can see who approved it. So this approval workflow for checks, I think from a, again, from an accounts payable standpoint and what you're having to prepare for a check run, this will certainly save a lot of time um, for, your, uh, for your check signers as well as for you, right? Okay. All right, so we went and we talked about the workflow for different uses. We talked about that OCR. Now I want to talk about retrieval. So one of the things I'm going to go back to my workflow, and I'm going. To, this is the workflow for the for the chat, or excuse me, for the invoices. Remember, I said that workflows are there to streamline a process, to eliminate bottlenecks, right? And I and one of the main things is to give accounts payable insight as to where everything is. So I just came in here and I. I didn't pick a certain step. I, as, a, as admin in my system, I can go into this workflow and I can see every document that's sitting in this workflow. Doesn't matter what step it's in. It doesn't matter um, who's waiting for it to be approved. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter. It's all there and I can see every document. So think about when you get um, a call from a vendor and they want to know, hey, has this invoice been paid? Well, with Paper Save, I can come down here to my grid. And again, there are over 100 invoices sitting in the stack. And I can say, well, maybe if it was Best Buy, um, let's go in here and say contain. I want to find anything that contains North. All right. So now I've just narrowed all of this down to. Um, a handful of, of invoices, right? Um, now, I am actually looking at um, my completed documents as well. I'm going to hide these. These are things now that are just going to sit in the workflow. So when I look at this, I can see all of these Northwind Trader invoices. Let's narrow that down again to North. And I can see where they are in the process. Some of them have been rejected. Some of them are in the director's review. Well, what I can do from here is I find the document. It's in the director's review step. That's where I am right now. And I can immediately see why that document is sitting here, who hasn't approved it, who the current owner is of it. 
and I could immediately send out an email to the director saying, please approve this ASAP, right? So not only can I communicate quickly with the person who needs to approve it, I can see it as well. So that is one retrieval method that I like to show during this demo because when it's electronic, you want to be able to find it. If it's paper and you've handed it off for an approval process, you have no idea where it is. With Paper Save, you're always going to be able to find where that document is at any given time inside of Paper Save. Now, I will tell you there's a lot of other ways to search for documents as well in Paper Save. We're going to save that for the third session. Um, but one of the things that I do want to talk about now is getting to those documents that I created just a minute ago, right? Well, there's a lot of ways to navigate with inside of GP. I'm going to go the way that I know real quick, and I'm going to open up some of these documents that I just created. So Paper Save, um, let's go to the next one here. So Paper Save will give me the opportunity to see the document. I can come up here and say Show Document. And Paper Save is going to open, and it's going to give me the image of the document right from the transaction. I'm also going to be able to see who approved it and when, when it was approved, when it was associated. So you can see these are the ones that I just created. Now, of course, my time is um, different because I'm, I'm in the States, but um, that's the document that I did just create or the transaction that I did just create. And I can go through them like this or listen. If you go through vendor, you can navigate this way as well. Let's go and open up a payment. So if I open up a specific payment, we'll go, we'll come down here to this work one. Again, paper save is here. We know that there are the transaction is here. We know that there are a lot of documents related to this payment. With paper save, I come up to additional and I say show document. That's going to show me an image of the check. But if I say show associated document, again, that's going to open up the payment document and I get to see the invoices as well. So the retrieval of the document is very simple. It's navigating to that transaction, right? And looking at the documents. I always have the ability to email a document out as well. I can print it, I can save it. If I have the rights, I could delete it, but you don't give everybody the rights. But every time you see a document, that went through a workflow, you're going to be able to see who approved it. That one was rejected a couple times and it was forwarded. But you can also see who approved it and rejected it and all of that through the life of the system. Paper Save is also creating an audit trail. And I think I talked about this last time. You can see I've opened up this document quite often, but it tells me who opened it and when and the date and time. All right, one last thing I do want to show and it's our, it's our export into Excel. So I'm going to pop back here to this workflow and give you another example of how being able to see all of these documents at any given time is really important. Now, workflow is there to streamline, right? Eliminate the bottlenecks and then give you insight as to where the documents are. And in a perfect world, everything would be approved and processed in a timely manner. Well, we know that that's not always the case, right? There's always those exceptions. So when you have to put together, uh, let's say, an accrual spread uh, journal entry, right? Because some things didn't get approved um, for a month that you're closing, and now you have to do that reversing entry. Well, again, you come into that workflow. You look at all the steps. You can filter by invoice date, right? I'm not going to do that, but you have the ability to filter by that invoice date, get the group of documents that you want. And then you can export it out into an Excel spreadsheet. Now, I have a lot of columns here. So before I do that, I can set some of those columns and include and exclude some of the things that I don't care about, like a first step, approval file name. You know, One of the things that I do want for sure is ID. Once I set those columns, now all I have to do is export that out into an Excel spreadsheet. And then this Excel spreadsheet can become the supporting document to a journal entry, right? And look what we have right here.
paper save has a hyperlink in the Excel spreadsheet right back to the document. So when this Excel spreadsheet becomes the supporting document to a journal entry, you're going to be able to go to that journal entry and see the supporting document, which I showed last time, and have this hyperlink here. So it will prepare that supporting document to an accrual journal entry for you because you have the um, dollar amounts, because you have the GL distribution. Again, Paper Save is going to have that there for you. And then right along the toolbar in um, on the Excel spreadsheet is the add document to Paper Save, which can then associate it to a journal entry. And we talked about that at the last session. Um, but we can talk more about it in um, the upcoming session that we will be doing in a few weeks. So that's paper saved. Workflow, automation, OCR, right? Workflow, not only for invoices, but for checks, and then some retrieval.